In this demo, Performing Remote Management, we're going to use Server Manager to manage a remote server, add the DNS server role on a remote server, and connect to and configure a remote server using RDP. Remote Administration Demo. In this case, I'm on Server 1. I'm going to add a server via Server Manager. I'm going to add SVR1. I'm going to look for him. I'm going to find him and I'm going to select him. So he's listed uh, in my selected uh, list and press on from that. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm going to go to Manage, Add Roles and Features. We're going to add the DNS server role to the remote server. So the wizard pops up. I'm going to walk through the wizard. Installation type is going to be role based. I'm going to select my server. I'm notice that server one does appear in my list of my uh, available servers, my server pool. I'm going to select him. Okay, now on the uh, server role page, I'm going to select the DNS server and it's going to say, hey, you probably also want remote server administration tools, which I do, so I went ahead and added those. On the uh, feature page, there's no additional features I want to uh, install at this time. So then uh, let's uh, take a look at basically the uh, DNS server info sheet for the role. The confirmation page shows me what I'm doing and then I hit install. And then it takes a couple minutes to go through the installation process. At some point this, uh, this particular screen will offer me the ability to close this window but I can go to the uh, notification icon up on the toolbar up at the top there to kind of keep track of what's uh, what's happening. So let me close this window right here. Let it finish installing the features and whatever. Notice I'm still on DC1, but I'm going to switch over to SVR1. So now on SVR1, I'm going to select the uh, local server option and I'm going to uh, go down there and I'm going to kind of enable the uh, remote desktop option. As you can see, it's, uh, it's already enabled. If it wasn't, I would simply select disabled and select the enabled option. I want to allow remote connections. When I do that, it's going to say, hey, no problem. I'll just open up the firewall for you. So that's good. And then let's press on from there. Now we go back from server one back to DC one. And what I want to do on DC one now is I want to open up the remote uh, desktop tool. So I go to start, hit the start button, and I just start typing remote desktop connection. And that pops up in the uh, search window over here. And there's the icon for remote desktop connection. Let me select that. And that brings up the remote desktop connection screen. Let me tell it who I want to talk to. I want to talk to SVR1. I want to hit connect. It's asked me for credentials. That's a good sign. Okay. It's connecting up. And there is my server one remote connection uh, screen. Now notice I'm on DC one, but this shows me that I've got a remote connection to server one. And there's a variety of you know features across the top on this sort of little uh, service bar that it provides you, enabling you to uh, control various aspects of the remote connection. And one of the things that might be useful is uh, the ability to kind of maintain the connection, but uh, minimize it, send it down to the taskbar, continue working on in this example DC one but at some point I might want to bring SVR1 back up and continue. Another successful demo. See you next time.